when Bontrager's engineers decided it was time to update the R3, they didn't start dreaming about new tires. They started dreaming about entirely new ways to test and develop tires. The new R3 is the culmination of this, a family of tires born of revolutionary testing equipment and new expertise from some of the smartest guys in high-performance tires from cycling and beyond. We started out doing testing on the steel drum and sending our tires away like everyone else in the industry to industry standard tests. We realized with some of the, the testing that we've done for racing on cobbles and gravel that that's not the whole story. There's, there's a lot to rolling resistance that comes up when you're running on something other than a perfectly smooth, polished steel surface. Wanting to dig deeper into tire performance than any existing testing would allow, Bontrager's engineers discovered a company that made treadmills for professional football players, fast enough and powerful enough for a bike to ride on. After a lot of customization and some trial and error, Bontrager had its next level test rig. One of the biggest things is that we can bolt on tread to the slats of this treadmill. We took a mold of cobbles from Harrington Bay. We've got a 3D scan of gravel surface, and we can link up some of the other things from our bump library in order to make a reproduction of many, many different conditions. And that's what really lets us dig into how the bike and the rider interact with the tires and the wheels. The real world is really messy. The wind comes from a different direction, you hit slightly different line, and that can massively change how the data turns out. In the case of a rolling resistance rig here, we've got repeatability, I'm gonna dork out here, within 1.5%, and that's on a bad day. What that ends up meaning is we can tell the difference between a tire that is 1% faster or 1% slower. Not just the tire, but tuning the setup as a whole. Something Keith Bontrager actually told me like a couple of years into working here, everything is a spring. And it's really true, and the tires are some of the best springs you have on a bike, so tuning them like suspension is really, really key. But it took more than just a revolutionary new test rig to create the new Bontrager R3 tires. It took tire expertise born in high-performance motorsport to deliver the truly impressive gains seen in this new R3 family. The new TR Speed compound rolls 7% faster than the previous R3, with not just increased traction, but an almost 100% improvement in tread life. When we went to develop the new compound for the R3, we looked at both some of the experience that I had in high-performance automotive tires and aircraft tires and we use that to develop our own new compound that we're calling TR Speed. It gets better in all the key areas we're looking for. It's faster rolling, it lasts longer, it gets better grip. In developing the, the R3, one of the things that we wanted to look to improve is puncture protection. Since we have in-house testing, we were able to test nylons, aramids, rayons, really everything that's being used. And we settled on a nylon that is a smaller cord, so as you pack more cords into the same area, you improve your puncture protection. As Bontrager's new test capability came together with its new expertise, something truly stunning was learned, something that validates all the time and energy put into developing the new R3. Every tire, regardless of tread, is directional. A tire's being built, the casing is laid on the drum with an angle, roughly a 45 degree angle, and then everything else that's needed is placed in there, and then the casing is folded up around all that other material. So whether you have two plies going into the road or two plies coming back up out of the road when it's rolling will determine how fast the tire rolls. Once we learned that every tire was directional, we started making sure that every tire that comes off of the building machine goes onto the rack in the same way and then into the curing mold the same way. That way we can ensure that we have a direction arrow that points in the fastest direction for your tire. This is entirely new information in the cycling world. Depending on how the casing under the tread is folded, one direction offers 10% less rolling resistance than the other. It's free speed. Of course, unless you're riding a new Bontrager R3, there's no way to know if you're getting that free speed. Thanks to the incredible expertise and revolutionary testing, Bontrager has created a family of R3s that rolls 7% faster, corners with more traction, offers 22% better puncture protection and lasts almost twice as long. The family itself consists of four tires, starting with a slick 23mm tire before moving to a lightly treaded 25mm tire, a 28mm tire with a slightly more aggressive tread, ideal for endurance riding,
sliding and even light gravel, and a 32mm tubeless ready R3 TLR with more knobs offering more volume and traction over truly demanding terrain. The team at Bontrager has created a family of incredibly versatile tires. Tires that are as ready to line up on race day as they are to bang out big days all season long as your everyday.